Hello and welcome to another chess opening video with me, Zach Slagowski. As we go over all the main openings that you'll see as a beginner at the game of chess. This week, we continue with the Rui Lopez and we're going to look at the classical defense. This will be a very common opening that you see as white and something that I think black when they do play is at a disadvantage. There are three main lines that we're going to go over. The first being the central variation, which is the main line of the classical defense. The second is on the fourth move when we castle. And on the third variation is when we on the fourth move, take the pawn on E5 with our knight. So without further ado, let's begin. So like the Rui Lopez, every time it starts off with e4, e5, we go knight to f3, they go knight to c6, and we push up bishop to b5, attacking this knight. Now the classical variation begins when black responds with going bishop to c5, just further developing its bishop, threatening us to take that knight. We're not going to take that, obviously. We're going to push up to c3 instead, looking to take control of the center of the board. They go knight to f6. And we push over here to d5, attacking both the pawn and a bishop. And after we exchange pawns, bishop will move over here to b4, attacking the king and putting it in check. Now, the best thing for us to do in this situation is go bishop to d2, trading it off, moving with our knight, defending this pawn so we can no longer get the free pawn there. After they push to e5, we just push up here to e5, causing the knight to move over here to e4. But we want to make sure that we don't take this knight over here on e4, because if you do, and the pawn takes, there's not a good spot for the knight to go to. Because if we go here, the queen gets a free pawn on the d4 square, so knight can only go to or here to g1, slowing the development of your pieces. The other central variation line that we want to go over is when we go to c3 and they bring the knight out, we go here. Instead of taking here on d4, what you want to do instead is you want to push up to e5, forcing the knight to move here. This opens up a lot more possibilities for white and a lot more attacking lines, because that after they move there, we can move the pawn up, further centralizing our middle. And after the bishop puts us in check, we take these and we clear up the middle and we have a strong command of the center of the board. That's the best case scenario for the central variation. The other line is after pushing up, and they take, we push up, and the knight drops in. We can just castle instead. And when the D, when the pawn takes here on D3, we move the queen up here, attacking here and here. This pawn's under threat. White is looking to attack as well with going bishop to C4 and going to possible checkmate here. So if you're black in this position, the best move for you to do is actually take here, attacking the queen, because if they go here, then we go here. And if that queen moves up here, it's not as threatening because, because they can just move here and further protect this pawn. And the last line of the central variation that we'll be going over is after we take the center and they take when we push up, the knight moves instead of going to e4, they go to d5 instead. In this situation, we still take the pawn and we trade the knights. After the queen comes out here, we just push up g4, stopping this line of attack on the queen. And after the pawn comes over here to attack the bishop, you can move the bishop over here to c4. You can go to d3, e2. There's lots of different possibilities that you can go with. But in this situation, it's pretty even with white with a slight advantage. Now, before we go any further, if you would please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, I'd highly appreciate it. And it just means a lot to me, you know? So the next variation of the classical defense is when on the fourth move, we just castle. When that happens, we castle. The game's kind of just... From here on out, there's not really theory behind it. You just move into a steady development kind of game and do your best to control the center of the board. The last variation, and this one's more of a trick than anything, is after the bishop goes here, we just take the pawn. And when the knight takes, we push the pawn up here to the center, a d4 attacking both the knight and the bishop, winning one of them in the process. This is very much like the Frankenstein Dracula variation that we see in the Alakine defense when white goes to knight to c3. And so based on how they react there, there's a lot of different lines to go on. But this is something that you should know if you want to mix up your games a little bit. So if you like that video, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zach Slagowski, where I play all of these openings, figure out what works for me, what doesn't, and then distill it into a YouTube video for you, the viewer, to watch in five minutes or less. Our next video, we're going to go over the Cozio defense, which is not a very common variation that you're going to see as white when playing the Rui Lopez, but it's still good to know because you do see it, I'd say one out of 20 times. That video will be here. I'll be the last video of the Rui Lopez series, and we can't wait to see you then. Goodbye.